Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you Cisco WebEx. It's a platform for having video conferences and virtual meetings. And it's similar to other apps that you may have heard of like Zoom or Google Meet. I have different videos about those as well. I'll put all of those in the description so you could compare all your options. And WebEx also has iOS and Android applications. Again, I'll make separate videos about those. This is gonna be the desktop version for Mac and PC. Let's jump into the computer. You could click the link below in the description to come to WebEx. And I'm gonna show you three different things. I'm gonna show you how to join a meeting. I'm gonna show you how to create your own meeting. And then I'll show you everything the meeting has to offer like sharing your screen, recording your screen, all the audio video settings, really everything you need to know to be successful on WebEx. I'm on the WebEx website. Again, you could click the link in the description or just come to webex.com to get to this page. And I could either join a meeting here if I've been invited to a meeting or I could sign up for free to create my own meeting. Joining a meeting does not require you to sign up for anything. You don't even have to get the free account for that. And before I do that, let me just show you the biggest difference between the free plan, the one I'm gonna show you here, and some of the paid plans. Really the time limitation of a meeting is what the big difference is between the free plan and all these paid plans. So this is usually limited to 40 minutes per conversation on the free plan, and you get unlimited calls on some of these. And some of the recording options are also part of the paid plans. So you could kind of explore on the pricing page the difference. But let's go to the home page and let's go ahead and press sign up. Again, if you press join here, you could join a meeting without signing up. And all you need is a meeting ID here. So the meeting information, I'll show you where to get that later. But someone should have already emailed you a meeting ID here if you are joining a meeting. But we'll go ahead and skip that. I'll show you how to sign up for one so you know exactly how to host your own meeting. And we look at all the virtual options inside of the meeting. So again, sign up for free, just an email here to sign up. And again, these are all the options you get. It doesn't cost you anything and you don't have to have this account to join an existing meeting. This is for hosting one. So I'll go ahead and type in my email. And then it's gonna ask me for my country and first and last name, I'll type that in. And it's gonna send me an email to set up my account. So let me go ahead and get that email. I'll show you what that looks like. And the email is going to give me my Webex website where I could invite people, but I really need to create a password. So I have a username, that's my email, but I'll need to create a password. I'll click that and I'll go ahead and type in a new password here. So now the first thing you want to do here is you want to change your profile picture. So you can go ahead and press change here and then upload your own picture so people could see a placeholder instead of this. I'm not going to do that here, but that's pretty straightforward. Then you could either start a meeting or schedule a meeting. So let me go ahead and start a meeting to show you how this process works. There are some other options here on the side as well, like all your recordings, your insight, your download. So you could explore these, but let's go ahead and start a meeting. What's really important here, look under this dropdown. There is a desktop app and there is a web app. A web app will take place right on your browser here. So I'm using Chrome and it's gonna be just another window. Very useful, you don't have to download the desktop app. I will in this case so I could show you everything, but I'll kind of compare both of them. I'll go ahead and press the desktop app and I'll press start a meeting. And it's gonna ask me to download the app. I've already downloaded the app, but if I didn't, it's gonna download it for me and I'll have to install it. So once you install it, you could press open. Right now, this is basically your personal room where you're setting up and testing your audio and video. So no one could see what I'm doing here. So right here, I could mute myself. So when I join a meeting, no one's gonna hear me. I could go ahead and stop my video. So right now, whatever my profile picture or the initials are right here, that's all they'll see when I press start meeting. So you could go ahead and test these out. The purpose for this room is make sure your audio and video are working right. So right here, if you press this, you could use your computer audio. That's what I wanna do here. I also have these USB mics. That's why it sounds a lot better than what your camera's picking up. I'll put a link to this microphone in the description. You could do a call in or not connect with audio at all. I do wanna do this and just have a virtual meeting with my computer here. And then same thing for your video setting if you have that set up, or by default, it's just gonna use your camera right here. I don't have to worry about connecting a different video source. 
and then right here these are just you testing your microphone so again i'm using that usb yeti mic right here so it's testing it right here the volume i could go ahead and make sure all these are working properly test my speaker here before i press start a meeting or join a meeting let me go ahead and press start a meeting now now this is the webex application that's showing me this let me go ahead and minimize everything so we're going to just focus on this meeting that's me right here and let me just go through some of these other options we haven't invited anyone yet so again i could mute myself here i could turn off my camera everything is over here that i'm going to see for myself i turn my video back on i could share content i could press this and it's going to let me share my content so i could share my screen or i could share my iphone and ipad screen very useful so if I was to share my screen, I would just press share here and now it's sharing my screen and at any time I could come up here and stop sharing my screen. So that's a very useful option for sharing your screen. Then you have your participant window. That's everybody over here right now. I'm by myself. I haven't invited anybody, but I could go ahead and open and close this window here. I have a chat option. Again, I could jump in here and chat with anybody or I could press the three dots here and there's some other options here. Like I could lock this meeting. I could invite and remind other people. I could copy the meeting link and I could have my audio and speaker connections here. So right now, the very first thing we need to do now that we've tested ourselves is we need to invite other people to this meeting. So let me go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, if I press these three dots and I either copy my meeting link and send that to someone or invite and remind someone, I could send them an email and then remind them to join the meeting. So let's say right now I wanted to invite someone. Let me go ahead and do that. In a second, I'll show you how to schedule the meeting in advance too, so you know how to do that. But let me invite my other account here on the other computer. And I just send an invite. You could invite as many people as you want to this meeting. I'll press done. And let me go to the other computer and join this meeting right now. So right now the other person has joined the app. You could see their camera here. This is just my other computer here, but they probably will be somewhere else in your situation. But they basically, all they had to do was click the link that they got in the email and it prompted them to download the WebEx app and they joined the meeting that way. They went through the same testing with audio and video and now they're here. Let me go ahead and turn off their microphone and their camera here. So now it's just going to show their profile picture again. That's why it was important to add a profile picture. So even if you turn off your camera, people could still see you. So now let's look at some of these other options we haven't looked at. This one, the recorder. Let me press that. And let me press start recording here. And it's going to ask me where to save it. Right now, let me just save it to my desktop, for example. I'll just choose desktop, press save. And now it's recording this entire conversation. So if the other person was sharing their screen or whatever it may be, it's going to share and record everything here. Now on the side, you could see all the different people. So you could go ahead and mute and unmute them. They could also do this on their own. You could have a private message with them. If you click this little message icon, you could turn off your video and audio as well here. Let me go ahead and pause the recorder. And that's going to show up on my desktop as soon as the recording is done. Now, if I want to manually share my meeting room with them, I could press this I right here, this I on the side, and it's going to give the URL and the meeting number and the access code. If I share any of that information with anybody, they could go ahead and join my meeting. This is also my audio connection. So if someone wanted to dial in, they could also do that, but then they'll need the access code here. So a number of ways to join with video or with a phone here on this meeting. Let me go ahead and press X. This is how you would leave a meeting. So if I press this, it's going to say end meeting. I'm going to say yes. And the meeting is done. So now the video file is ready as soon as I ended the meeting. So I could at any time go ahead and, and, now and test that recording time. right there. I could test that recording. This is what's on my desktop. And now I'm back to the initial page where I could start a meeting, schedule a meeting or join the meeting. The same things I show you on the website. Let me go back to the website here just to show you. Let me jump into the home page of the website one more time. And let me show you this thing here for starting a meeting. There's the web app, right? Not the desktop app that I showed you, but you could start a meeting on the web app and it'll just take place right here on your browser. Again, you could test your audio and your video here just like that. And you could start a meeting. I'll go ahead and use my camera and I'll press start meeting. 
And as you can see, it's going to start emitting the same as way as before with all the options underneath here. Like I could go ahead and turn off my audio and video and I could invite people here. I could share my link with them and I could exit the meeting. I just want to have some options like recording my meeting. But let me go ahead and end this meeting here. But I just want to show you that it's possible to just have this happen right on the browser here and not on the app. Then finally, if you press schedule a meeting, you could go ahead and put in meeting topic, your meeting password and time and date. And then you could go ahead and type in the attendees emails here and separate them by commas and press start and they will get that invite. So this is initially how you should probably start a meeting for some time in the future if you didn't want to have a meeting take place right away. And on the side here, you have preferences. So you could change some of your general or personal room preferences. You could also change your recording options here if you have that available. So you should definitely check out this page to make sure everything is as you like. And then on the home page again, the main things that you need to worry about is starting a meeting, scheduling a meeting, or joining a existing meeting. I hope you found WebEx useful. Again, check out the other applications that are similar to this for video conferencing and see which one is a good fit. Don't forget to subscribe. I post easy to follow app of the day and tech videos on this channel. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.